What is going on guys, Yeti here, and welcome back to another slightly different video actually. This is going to be a product review type thing for the capture software Lightcam 100fps game capture. So, this is a bit of a long name, but this uh, little capture software came out on Steam um, on the 24th of February, so it's a couple of weeks ago. Um, and this is supposedly a, a new low um, CPU, high frame rate capturing uh, capture software for the uh, well for the PC um, as you see here on the little trailer it does high FPS low CPU usage it has pip webcam recording so it has integrated um, web cam recording and one click recording it's easy to use um, now over this review I am going to be going over all of the features of the software and just kind of showing you what it can do however there are two kind of big issues that I have with the the software um, that could maybe put you off buying it altogether. Just wanted to show you that little animation there. Um, but me personally, with my recording process, I naturally overcome these issues. But you may be put off by them. So yeah. So this little tutorial thing comes up the first time you open the video. Um, as you can see, I can make it not come up, so I'll just do that right now. I just wanted to show you what it is. Um, when you first open it up. So this is our little um, screen here, as you can see we can move this around. This is what will be recorded. So if I were to click this record button, which looks a little bit like the Bandicam um, logo. Um, but yeah, so if I were to hit this record button, it would obviously start recording. Um, so we can uh, resize this as and how we want to. We can have a little zoom in window there so we can see exactly which pixel we are using. Um, minimize, um, full screen close, help, all the usual buttons. And up here we have our settings, which is where the main bit is. So this is the PIP integration. So basically what this does is it records whatever screen you are having um, be recorded. So if you're recording your desktop, it will record the desktop and also record a face cam at the same time. So as you can see, we can just turn that on. Yep, turn on. There we go, so it's on now. Um, as you can see, we can just choose the format for it, um, the resolution, um, the frames per second. You've got all these options for that. It's very full of options, this. Um, you can use what you're using to record it. So Bison Cam is what I have built in, which is my webcam software, so I just go with that. I sort of XSplit for my live stream, so I could choose that. Um, and then as you can see, we can choose whereabouts in the screen we want it to go. So my preference is top right. So you can have a little face cam top right, so it would record it um, up in the top right. Um, you can just choose how you want it here. Um, you can have a, a border, a color, um, transparency of the the. Where do I want that? I want it like that. Um, transparency of the um, window itself, so you can have it faded a bit. You can also have it show while recording. So if you're recording this, you'd be able to see your face what you're recording. Or you can turn it off if you're obviously playing like a game and you don't want to see your face. Um, so that's what the pip recording is, pretty awesome, it has a webcam built in, because obviously people have to go through a lot of effort to record it separately, um, which takes up more CPU usage, and also it means that you have to sync the lips up and stuff. Um, so this means they're automatically synced up with the audio, um, which is pretty awesome. So here we have the um, mouse pointer effects, we can choose whether we want it to record the mouse pointer or not, so maybe if you're doing a game you don't want that. But if you are doing like a tutorial for something, how to download and install Fallout mods, I don't know, you can have the mouse pointer. Um, you can also have little effects to come up when you click. Here we have our actual um, audio. Oh, this is, sorry, I was going to say video, that's over, over here. Here we have the audio recording quality, so you can just choose the audio qu quality that you want it at. This is the default, um, or you could have no audio. You have the system defaults, all if you don't know much about this kind of stuff, which is fine. Over here, we can choose the frames per second. Um, so as you can see right now, as you can see, it goes up to 100 frames per second, uh, as the name would indicate. But uh, this actually is limited to 30 frames per second right now, because what that is doing um, is because whilst it's in this little rectangle mode, it can only do 30 FPS. If it were to go to a game, you could put it up to 100. So. Um, but it's just a little thing. If you wanted 60 FPS video recording your desktop, then you couldn't. But do you really need that? Um, yeah. So here we can select an area. Um, as you can see, you got all the resolutions here. 
Um, we can go with some default ones, which is the YouTube Minimum, the Recommended, YouTube Standard, YouTube HD. So, as you can see, it's definitely built for YouTube, basically. Um, and then down here, we have our just kind of regular custom resolutions, 800 by 600, etc. And you've got your, your custom one, so you can um, change it as you will. Something I've just realized, my mouse pointer isn't actually um, recording here. Let me just move this. Sorry, boot this. Is it recording? That isn't okay. I don't know. <laughs> don't know how to work Bandicam. Obviously, general setting. No. Okay. Well, I it's not recording. I've forgotten how to change that. Um, hide mouse cursor. Hopefully you can see it now. It sucks. Sorry that I didn't see the whole thing. So if you couldn't see the whole thing, hopefully you can see it now. Um, we're just looking at this toolbar on the top left of the window. There's the webcam, the mouse pointer. You can see it all here, all the different sections. Um, but yeah, so here's the resolutions. Um, you can have it just uh, windowed mode to the, where it will record a certain window um, and be locked to that window program, which is kind of the same thing, but it's done slightly differently. And full screen to just record the whole screen, which is pretty awesome. Uh, over here you have the, um, this is where it switches from video to game recording. So right now it's just doing video recording which means it will re be recording whatever's on the screen. But we can switch it to game recording and we can click the game. Uh, obviously I'd normally have a game open right now and I can just click the game that I want. Um, and you got your hotkeys here. So yeah, but for now I'm going to switch it to video recording so I, just so I can show this off. I will up the resolution or maybe not to that. Um, that's also a bad resolution. Let's just, yeah, whatever, let's just leave it at that. Um, so yes, yeah, so you can choose between game mode or whatever. Obviously you can hide that, but it's not going to be there when you record, so it doesn't really matter. So here's the main bulk of the software. Here are our settings. So as you can see, you've got a mode here, um, which is just this bit up here. So that's that. Select an area, which is just... The, the same as up here, so these kind of hotkeys. Frames per second, which is up here, video format, audio device, which actually isn't, so I will show you that now. Um, this is my first problem with it. As far as... Okay, actually, never mind. I've, ch I've just figured it out. Okay, so I only have one problem. So right now, I can choose it to have um, whatever I want. So I'll go microphone. So if I want to just record some gameplay, I can have it to choose whatever I want. Obviously... I could just have it to record computer sound, which would record the game sound and Skype and YouTube and anything like that. Or I can have it custom and it will just record a certain window. So if I wanted it to record game sound, but if I had music playing in the background and I didn't want that to record, then I can choose just the game. Um, so if I wanted to do a gameplay commentary, I could have computer sound and click microphone input. So then I could set it to record the game on this one and go to here and it is recording my microphone so now if I have microphone input I can choose what microphone I want so I've got um, I don't know why it's everything twice but I've got the built the, the stairs speakers and um, that's my built-in laptop microphone and then obviously we have my Yeti microphone so I'd have every microphone that you had um, and obviously we can choose the volume of that but for now I'm just going to turn that off so you can happily have um, the game sound and the microphone recording or you can have no sound at all if you so wish so that is pretty cool then we just got pip, mouse pointer, um, here you got some video options, um, automatic overlays and hardware acceleration, if you know what they are then great, but I'm not going to sit here and explain those, this is just giving an overview for those who don't know what is in the software. you got icon in the taskbar, so you can have that down here, um, as you can see I've got bandicam there, assuming they can actually see that. Um, show game recording information, like the frames per second and all that kind of stuff, and this is, you can take screenshots with it. Um, so this is you just choose whether you want a BMP, a uh, PNG, or a JPEG. I would suggest a JPEG for that. Um, so that's that. Or oh, you've also got your AVI codec options. This is kind of meta stuff, which is I to just leaving this if you don't know what this kind of stuff is. But if you are into that kind of stuff, you can change your um, AVI file options. Um, so yeah, you can do that. I'll just show you the kind of settings and stuff you can go through. Yeah. So here we got some kind of uh, video options you can do. Um, add a title. This will just put like a caption on the screen. Oh, I keep closing that. 
Um, so you can put words on the screen, you can put credits. So what I mean is you can pre-edit the credits, type them all in here, um, and set it all up as you want, so that as soon as you click stop recording, the credits will automatically be added onto the video at the end, um, on the end file. So that means that you don't have to, if you want to add credits, then you don't have to add them in, in editing, they'll already be there. Logo, you can just put a logo on the part of your screen, as it, obviously you choose the file, um, so if I wanted to have my logo, I'd have to click on first. Um, I could just go over to my desktop and put my logo in there and just have it up in the top right and have a logo there. Um, again with the transparency, so you can just mess around with that, have your logo on there, mess around with the image and stuff like that. Timer recording, if you want a 10 minute video, then you can set all this up with the minutes minutes to start, so if you want a, a time for it starts, so if you want to say press start and wait 10 seconds and have it start, you can do that. And then you can say it's like end after 10 minutes or stuff like that. Um, next up we have the lock frame rate which is just up in the frame rate control shortcuts here are all your shortcuts so you can change all the shortcuts record button you can have it to just be f8 or you can have it to you have to press control or alt or shift as you can see and um, pause button stop button draw button which pops up your fps um, when you want that and capture button that's the um, screenshot button so if you want to take a screenshot whilst recording or just whenever then you can do that with that button Next up we got convert video file, here we can do as it says, you can choose an original file and convert it into a mp4 or a wmv, um, change the quality so that you know do it faster or whatever, so that's a neat little feature that's built in convert video file, and then folder, this just choose where the save to, um, use it so it just goes to your documents and then into light cam, and then you got your help button, so my, my biggest issue with this software is um, I'm actually going to close it right now because I don't need the rest of the video, but my biggest issue with this software is just the fact that, well first of all I'm just going to talk about the price, um, it's 19 quid, it's currently, well there's a, it's the 7th so there's only 3 days left and this is going to go up on probably to the 10th so it's not going to be on sale anymore but it's got 18 quid, that may seem a little expensive but if you think Fraps is just sort of 30 quid Bandicam is £26.50, that's actually pretty cheap, and this has more features than Fraps and more features than Bandicam, so that's a fantastic price. Um, I'm just going to pause this and just go on to my, I don't know, just got my games, um, 205 hours. Um, yeah, so but, but this is actually cheaper than Bandicam or Fraps, and it's also got more features, so that's not too much of a bad thing. My biggest issue with, with this is the file size. Uh, a 10 minute video recorded at 720p is about a gig. So if you want to record 720p videos and you're someone like me that plays a lot of Splunky, um, then a, a video that's like half an hour long is going to be like 3 gig. It's Sometimes it can range between like 3 gig to like 5 gig for like 20 minutes or something. So it's it pretty big, but if you think about it this way, Fraps is even bigger than that. Um, I was comparing my results to other people's results with Fraps, multiple other people's results with Fraps, so that it wasn't just you know I could note note any anomalies. This has smaller file sizes. Now I naturally kind of um, fix that because I use. Roxio, Roxio Video Wave to edit my videos, so when I'm rendering the videos out, even if I render them, let me just try and open this up, even if I render them in 720p, I they become smaller files, so a 3 gig file, I'll edit it, I'll render it, and then um, it will just become, it'll when it's done rendering, it'll be a smaller file, so I'm just going to show the options that I'm rendering. Um, so that isn't an issue for me, but maybe if you just make your videos in Windows Live Movie Maker, which you can see right here, maybe you might have issues, but that naturally smallens them down as well. Um, let me just get like a pop in a video file and render it out for you guys. Let this load up. Um, let me just. I just, I don't even know what I don't know what any of these are. I can't tell. Okay, this is just a one of my scatter shot speedruns. Just got a shot, got a gun. Well, that was 221. Well done, Reese. Um, but yeah, so I'll just export it. Um, no. 
So these are the settings I normally render in. I can just pop that down, and as you can see, I'll render it in the 720p here, and that naturally puts it down to a lower file file size. So um, basically, that's not an issue for me. But if you like smaller file sizes, I'd definitely suggest Bandicam, as its file sizes are naturally smaller. I guess you could say. But yeah, overall, I would give this product a Overall, I would give um, Lightcam 100fps game capture an, a solid 8.5 out of 10 because it is packed full of features, tons of features as you can see. It's really easy to use, it's just there's tutorials, there's loads of help, it's cheap and I only have one issue with it and that's not even that much of an issue for me. So if you like this video guys, please leave a like, you love your favourite, click all those links in the description for my website for cheap games and also my speedrunning channel. Uh, yeah, and I'll speak to you all uh, next time. Um, definitely sure to check out this software. Maybe do some background research on it beyond just me. And I will speak to you all later. So peace out, guys.